Bitte, 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 bitte. I, it's hot in here. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I don't want to take them off because that would be weird. Singing in the shower. Oh, I'm gonna do my shower routine. So we're in my shower. It's a little bit weird, but that is okay. I personally love these kind of videos because I'm very uh, nosy. If I'm just being plain and simple and blunt, when I go over to a girlfriend's house, I am that person that will open your medicine cabinet and will look in your shower because I want to see what shampoo you use and what razor is great. And I just, I want to know these things. I need to know these things. What shampoo do you use? The first thing I do in the morning when I am getting ready for my shower is I always detangle my hair. This makes such a world of a difference, especially if you have long hair, brush it out before you shampoo and condition. Trust me, it's worth it. I also use a body brush. I dry brush and I only do this a few times a week. I try to do it daily, but I don't always have time. But I do aim to do this because it makes such a difference in how smooth your skin is and it's also super detoxifying. I've already done two videos on how to dry brush. I will link both of those below. First thing I do in the shower is I suds up with some shampoo. I have a few different shampoos here. One is hydrating. This is from Innoir. It's an argan oil shampoo. I really love this one. It smells beautiful. It's sudsy and foamy and gentle and really hydrates my hair. And then I also have this seaweed mild marine shampoo from Bumble and Bumble. It is just super gentle. I have colored hair and extensions, so I do spend a little bit more on my shampoo and conditioner. I always shampoo my hair first so that I can put conditioner in and let it really sink into the hair as long as possible for the rest of my shower. This is from Bumble and Bumble as well. This is the Seaweed Mild Marine Conditioner. I love using this one when I know I'm going to blow out my hair and I'm going to be using other serums and creams and I don't want anything too heavy in my hair. This is a fantastic kind of everyday conditioner and I always comb it through. A lot of people are like, oh no, that creates breakage. You know, you don't want to brush your hair when it's wet, but if you have conditioner in and you've pre-brushed your hair, when you go to brush things out, it just allows that conditioner to wrap around the hair and do its job better. I picked this trick up from a salon when a hairstylist was literally pulling the color through my hair and the conditioner and everything turned out just so beautifully and even, and it just makes sense to me. So then I clip my hair up. Just get a cheap plastic claw clip that you can keep in the shower. The reason I like to clip my hair up when I put conditioner in it is because I don't like the conditioner like hitting my back and leaving all that oil and residue there. And then also I was noticing that I was not washing my back as well because my hair would be covering my back while letting the conditioner sit. And then I was getting breakouts on my back. So I always clip my hair up now. From there, I will wash my body. Now, I prefer to use a little loofah puff thingamajoo. This one is from The Body Shop. My absolute favorites, though, are from Bath & Body Works. There's something about the texture of those that is very firm and just makes the tiniest amount of any of your body wash just kind of go so this is not my favorite, but it's what I'm using at the moment. And I, you know, switch these out fairly often. What I'm using for body wash right now is from Lush. It smells heavenly. It's the Rose Argon Limited Edition Body Wash. It's just, it's a really unique, interesting scent. I love it, very foamy. It's soap. It smells good. It doesn't dry out my skin. I like it. From there, I feel like any of the residue from putting conditioner in my hair is off of my hands and I will then wash my face. Right now, I am into the Caudalie Instant Foaming Cleanser. This is a soap-free cleanser. It literally just foams out like this and it is so light and airy and smells incredible. It's gentle. I am really, really loving this. I tried it out because I love their cleansing water so much and I've just become an instant fan. I feel like it's helped my skin out a lot. This is for all skin types. And yeah, so I will wash my face. I will count to 60 seconds. That's something I religiously do to make sure that I am properly caring and cleansing my skin. It's also a great way to get the circulation going in your skin as well. and just helps everything to look better and helps your products to sink in better once you put on moisturizers and whatnot on top of your skin. If I have extra time, I will shave. 
This is my Intuition uh, razor and I love this. We are best friends. I cannot go without this thing because basically on a day-to-day -day basis, this is probably TMI, but hey, we're in my shower and we're talking about shower stuff. I only shave my underarms. I hate shaving my legs unless I am going to be wearing a skirt. On a daily basis, I will not shave my legs. I kind of save that for when I'm taking a bath and when I'm exfoliating my skin and when I can take the time to get a really close shave. Uh, otherwise, I just use this and it's great because it has this kind of built-in shave cream soap where you get this wet and you don't have to put any shave cream on. You can just droop, droop, you're done. This is also something I have to say, even when I am in a crazy rush, I will take 15 seconds a foot. That's all it is. 30 seconds out of your day, scrub your feet. This only works as kind of a quick step if you do this all the time. Otherwise, you're gonna have to go and get a pedicure and have someone put callus removal on you and scrub your feet. But if you every single day in the shower, at the end of your shower, when everything is softened up, scrub your feet with a pumice. This is the Mr. Pumice, I swear by it. You can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply for like 99 cents. Incredible, will change the life of your feet. And then if I'm feeling fancy, I will put on my in-shower body conditioner. I am currently using the one from Nivea and it's working out great. My skin feels very soft, I like it. I will let that sit on for mm, 30 seconds, rinse it off, and then I am out of the shower and I am done. Really quickly, I wanna share with you a couple other items that are in my shower that you would see in here if you were to literally be at my house today and come and snoop around in my shower. And one is from Philip B. It is a dandruff shampoo, which let's just get real here. That is a problem for a lot of people. And if you have a lot of buildup on the scalp and just a drier scalp, you need something that's gonna help handle that situation. And I recently had a freak out where I was like, I need something to fix this fast because I have dark hair and it was just like, oh my gosh. Ugh. Uh, so that shampoo, I swear by, it is expensive, but oh my gosh, it will change your scalp like that. It is so just quickly working. I love it so much. And then I also have this Kerastaz. It's called Discipline. You better discipline your hair. Uh, this is for when my hair is freaking out and frizzy and feels really dry. I like to put this in. It is a deep conditioner and you leave this on for, it says two to five minutes and just kind of let it sink into the hair and it really revives everything and makes everything feel really fresh and soft and new and great again. So I love this. I also really love doing this one after a clarifying treatment, which we're going to be talking a little bit about that next week. So we'll get to it, I promise, but this stuff is awesome. So that is my shower routine. The second I am done, I will hop out, I will throw my hair up in an aquas towel, and then I will pat my body dry. I don't like to like rub really hard. I like for my skin to still be a little bit damp, so if I put lotion on, it sinks into the skin a little bit better. That's another great tip really will help your lotion work double time. I will then use a spray toner on my neck and on my back. I don't know when I started doing this. It's just a weird habit in my everyday routine, but I feel like since I started toning my decollete and my back, I don't get any of those weird breakouts anymore. So I just pay a little more attention to this area. And uh, then I put on a moisturizer. I either do a spray on moisturizer, which is really quick from either Vaseline, H2O, or I will put on my Jergens BB that I've talked about so many times because it just makes the skin glow and look beautiful and luminous and it's hydrating and it smells so good. And if it's a day where I feel like, oh my gosh, why are my legs dry? Why is my body so dry? What is going on? I will use a body butter and my favorites are from The Body Shop. They have been my favorites for body butter for so long. Never fail to make your skin look beautiful and feel beautiful and heal things up really quickly. All right, so now you guys know exactly what is in my shower. If you were to come and visit me, these are the things that would be in here for you to use. So now you know. I don't know if that was really exciting, but you can give this video a thumbs up. If it was, that would be so great. And I hope you're having a good one. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.